And now for something completely different. Welcome to a slightly different video today. I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to talk, play video games and talk about them. Instead, I'm going to teach you something about Shadowplay that you might not know. So if you're like me and you have an NVIDIA card and you like recording yourself playing video games or for whatever reason, be it YouTube or for personal, you know, entertainment, uh, then you might be using Shadowplay because it's a, uh, it's free. It's a great piece of software, uh, allows you to record some high quality video. Um, and it is very minimal in terms of performance impact. Uh, if you're running, you know, s above 60 frames per second, I don't imagine you're going to have more than a 5% impact on your overall performance, which is totally okay with me. Um, it's great I, in, in terms of video quality, which I'm not going to discuss very much today. I think it's fantastic. Um, I, as you can see here, I'm using a pretty standard setup. I'm recording in 1080p uh, at 60 frames per second with a 50 megabit per second uh, bit rate and in the H.264 codec, which is all standard stuff for uploading to YouTube. Um, my only complaint with Shadowplay and the complaint I'm going to be addressing today is the audio quality. So prior to buying my current microphone, which is a Blue Yeti USB microphone, which has an amazing sound when you, you know, record with Audacity or any other sort of uh, audio equipment or software, excuse me, in Shadowplay it was very lacking. It was, you know, it looked, it seemed cut off like some kind of frequency or filter, fre frequency filter was applied and it didn't sound very good. And I was a little worried, uh, but it turns out that Shadowplay is just not the greatest uh, in terms of audio quality right off the bat because it's one thing that you have to do. And so I'm going to show you how to fix that really quickly. And believe me, uh, as an example, as proof, um, watch the first two videos of my Witcher 3 play through and then watch the videos after that. And that's that it was that between videos two and three that I discovered that I could do this with uh, with my computer and thus inc incredibly improve the audio quality. So I believe this only works for Windows 7 and 8 because I don't think the Blue Yeti is supported in Windows 10, but if you're using Windows 10, please try it and let me know if it works. So we're going to go down to the bottom right of the start bar and right click on the volume button and select recording devices. Afterwards, we're going to select our microphone, uh, which is the one I'm using here, the Yeti stereo microphone, hit properties, go to advanced, the advanced tab, and we're going to ensure before I had it, before I open this up, I'll show you what it was. It was set at two channel, 16 bit, 44.1 kilohertz, and it was allowed, it, it was ticked off for allow applications to take exclusive control of this device. What that means is that devices can do what they want with the audio. And so I tried uh, bumping up to DVD quality, which is the same, just at 48 kilohertz. If you can't do this, then don't worry about this step. And I disabled the ability for applications to take control of the device. So after doing that, Going back and recording, it the audio quality improved substantially. So try that if you're noticing that your Shadowplay audio is not doing as well as you thought it should. Um, I'm sorry I don't have any tips for the actual video recording process, but in terms of audio, you should have a much higher quality audio now if you were having a problem with it before. So I hope that uh, has taught you something, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, QED20. Have a great night, day, evening, whatever you're doing. Just have a good one. See ya.